dream about Kanye West. And in this dream, I was at an event and I saw Kim Kardashian and Kanye West at this event. But it was really strange because Kim kept talking to Kanye in this like baby voice, almost like he was a dog or a child. And she was like, are we gonna have a good day today? Mm-hmm. You're gonna, we're gonna go outside. Abria's here. Do you wanna go say hi to Abria? Like she was talking to him like that and I kind of was like, or almost like he was like a mental patient of some sort. And he had on this white shirt, which is pretty peculiar because Kanye wears a lot of dark colors. Like he wears a lot of black, brown, bulky clothes these days. He doesn't wear a, a lot of bright, he doesn't have like a lot of brightness in his wardrobe. And this, this particular dream, he was really illuminating. He had on this white garment. Um, if you guys have ever seen somebody been baptized, like back in the day where they have these white garments on when they get baptized, it almost looked like that, except he was wearing it as a shirt. Like it was like he cropped it almost. Um, and it looked pretty strange, but it was a bright color and he was illuminating and he seemed to be in good spirits even though he was being controlled in some way. Like he had somebody overseeing him and it was strange. And he walked up to me and he gave me this like really huge hug and we were hugging for a long time. And he was like, it's so nice to see you. And I was like, it's so good to see you too. Like I, you know, it, obviously we hadn't seen each other in a while in this dream. Um, and then I woke up. You guys have seen the prophetic word I released about Kanye West last year, I believe. I was saying how they were drugging him. I was saying how Kanye West had people who were like, you know, handling him. And in this dream, it just like further confirmed to me that Kim is his handler. Okay, everybody in Hollywood who is under some type of something has a handler. I, even though she may try to appear as this woman who's just trying to be free in her 40s and be divorced and find love and all this stuff, I feel like she is pulling strings. Her and Kris Jenner are pulling strings behind the scenes when it comes to Kanye. Also mentioned in that video how um, at some point, Kim would be overseeing Kanye in some way. She would have some type of legal, like almost like they were trying to push for a conservatorship in the dream I had about him last year. And that the Lord was saying that Kanye West's journey would end in some form of captivity. Now, a lot of people are kind of like against Kanye West because he says a lot of anti-Semitic things or because he says a lot of things that are outrageous. But I would encourage a lot of you to have more grace with Kanye West because he has stated over the years that he is autistic and that kind of hits close to home because my son is autistic and the more I see Kanye the more I see the autism you know I, I see it in him and I just laugh because I'm just like wow like how can people not see this in him you know how can people not see this and they hear him talk and they just condemn 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 not really giving him grace or having empathy like wow he is really struggling right now and this is also a really big reason why i believe that his mother was eliminated or was some form of separate of a sacrifice because she had too much influence over kanye she had too much influence and she played a really pivotal role in him being able to be who he is today things happening in the media um it kind of just confirmed the things the lord was already saying to me how they were saying oh they're they're drugging kanye with laughing gas he has a laughing gas addiction um his dentist is supplying him with a limitless amounts of laughing gas and it's like really messing with him and everybody around him is like doing nothing um i do believe that kanye is in this space where he's not himself all the time and he's himself sometimes and other times he's not he's like in and out of it, I do believe he's being handled. I do believe he's being overseen in some way. I do not believe Kanye West is fully in control of himself or his life, um, even though they try to make it seem like he is. Even though he may feel like he is, um, he has somebody handling him and overseeing all the things that are happening around him and they are infiltrating from the inside. Like they are sending people on the inside to infiltrate like his businesses and compromise him in multiple ways. I also stated in that prophetic word that he had a sex addiction. There was a sex addiction and they're fueling that as well. Whoever his handler is, whoever is overseeing him, is making sure that he has everything he needs to be distracted and overstimulated and doped up and doped up on dopamine, right? So he's constantly um, in his flesh in some way and they're fueling that in some way. They're giving him whatever it is that he wants to be able to keep him at bay. Now, one of the movies that he made a reference to was the movie Get Out. Now, if you watched that movie before, one thing that you noticed was that the man that was dating this woman, he thought he was in control the entire time. He drove to her parents' place. She always like, yeah, babe, yeah, sure, no, whatever. You know, she always made it seem like everything was okay and that he was in control until he realized he wasn't in control. You know, and I feel like that is what they're doing to him as well so when you guys see Kanye West saying things that seem a little bit strange that seem a little bit off you guys need to understand number one he's autistic number two he's being drugged and he's in and out of reality like there's the real Kanye 
you know, that is being revealed on Candace Owens interview that she had with him in like 2022. And then there's the Kanye West now that's talking a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense or people are coming out and saying things and it's kind of like, oh, like what's really going on? He can't really be for God because he's talking about porn. He can't really be a child of God when he's doing this and the third. He's talking crazy. He has mental battles. Um, In the prophetic word I released, I also spoke about that he like mental illness, like mental illness is something that he's struggling with. And in the interview with Candace Owens, I watched that briefly this morning before I even uploaded this word. Um, she did say that they did not speak on his mental illness until 2015 when Trump began to run for president. But they didn't speak specifically on his mental illness. But it was really well known that there was something going on with Kanye West after his mother passed away. And even before then, Kanye West was always autistic. We always saw it, but it was not weaponized against him, right? So Kanye West is really having a lot of mental battles. And I think people need to understand that. He is still very much so a child of God. God does love him. He does see his situation. He is being handled and overseen. So when you guys see Kanye West doing all these crazy things and talking all this stuff and saying all this stuff, do understand that he's being handled. Do understand that he is being handled. Um, and I do believe Kim Kardashian is one of his handlers. I don't think she's the only one, but I think she's the main one overseeing him. And I remember in that prophetic word also where the Lord was telling me that um, she would be like in charge of him. And they're, they're trying, there's something that he has. There's some, there's two things that he has. There's something that they want to possess, something that they want in their possession. And there's also something that Kanye West had in his possession that he was supposed to use to expose things that were happening in the industry and he did do it. Kanye West was also supposed to remove himself from this life, from these ways, from these people, and he did not do it. And for that, he is now in some form of captivity. When he had the opportunity to walk away, when he had the opportunity to depart and do his own thing and let it all go, he did not release it. He did not release it. And so for that, he ended up being a captive in some way. I do believe that they are drugging him. I do believe that they are supplying him with something that's not keeping him in his right mind because of the dream that I had last year. Now, in my dream, it was a needle. Now they're saying it's laughing gas. I'm not sure. I feel like it could be, it, it represents any form of a drug they're giving him to keep him not in his right mind. And in the dream that I had, his brain was literally turning to mush. His brain literally was turning to mush. Um, and they were trying to put him into a vegetative-like state to a point where he couldn't even do anything on his own. You know, and they are trying to push for this conservatorship. They are trying to push it um, so that somebody has control over him. Just how they did Wendy Williams. Just how they did. It was somebody else that they did. Like that Britney Spears. Um, somebody else as well where they were in some type of conservatorship where somebody was in control of their trust. In control of everything. They are trying to do the same thing to him. Okay, they are already overseeing him, but they're trying to make it so that he can't do anything, he can't say anything, and that his overseer handles everything he says or does and has to give a sign off before he does anything. When you guys see Kanye West, do not judge him, do not condemn him because you do not know what he's dealing with. And he is autistic, he does have mental battles, and if you combine autism with substance abuse of any form or drugging of any form, that could create a lot of warfare in somebody's mind you know autistic people already think differently neurodivergent people think differently and it not only dulls their creativity and dulls their spiritual senses um it just makes them like not delusional but not themselves not themselves okay he also spoke on how the medication he was taking made him feel numb you know it's numbing him and so i believe he is in an environment with some people who he believes have his best interest i do believe that kaye still doesn't wholeheartedly believe that kim is a handler I, I think he still hasn't realized that she is a delilah of sorts i still don't think he understands that she is not an ally. A lot of the people that he believes are for him are really enabling him. And a lot of the people who um, who need to speak up cannot say anything, right? And I do believe he's being handled. So you guys just keep Kanye West in your prayers. Um, and it's no coincidence that all this stuff is popping out. Um, but Kanye West does go in and out of reality. He goes in and out in and out um you guys remember what he was like back in 2022 and then he like disappeared and then he popped up and was saying all this crazy stuff and then releasing all this music and it was kind of like dude you just released this donda album and now this next album is just like what are you even talking about you know um yeah so he's in and out of it he's under a lot of warfare he's being overseen by a lot of people they are pulling the strings behind the scenes they are drugging him they are providing him with a lot of things to support his sex addiction or whatever addiction it is that he has but it's some form of a sexual addiction um 
And so I do believe that the things that are being said about Kanye West being drugged are true. Now, is he willingly ingesting this laughing gas? I don't know. I do not know. Um, but I do know the Lord has revealed to me times before that this man is being drugged. And he has revealed to me that Kim um, is going to have some type of legal control over him in the future. Um, and I know they were trying to push for a conservatorship to the point they were trying to get Kanye West to the point where he was so out of his mind um, and unable to do anything for himself. that They were going to have no choice but to control um, the state of his affairs. You know, well, that will be a battle in itself. But you guys keep him in your prayers um things are gonna get really crazy for him but he was one of the people the lord called to do some things and there was something that he was supposed to do and expose that he did not do like there was something he was supposed to do that he has not done um and he had an opportunity to do it he didn't do it he had an opportunity to remove himself he didn't remove himself i did think it was interesting that he said he was a firefighter that was willing to go into the burning building to save other people um, because in my dream, I remember that we were in this like really weird maze that we could not get out of that was full of like dangerous, ferocious people like cannibals, um, people who were trying to like, you know, kill people and a lot of bad stuff that was going on. And he was in the midst of all of that. But while he was in those spaces, he was transferring information to people like me to help us get out, to help us overcome whatever it is that we became. But he ended up going into captivity he ended up getting you know caught up in some stuff to the point where he could not be free for the sake of me being able to have the information that he was able to give me so maybe Kanye is you know suffering or staying in this situation um in order to do something maybe he has something up his sleeve but he is being handled by someone and it is hindering his ability to get done whatever it is that he's trying to get done to the point where he's on the verge of being flat out compromised okay um, i still don't believe he's had his moment yet i don't believe kanye has really had his moment maybe he will but i truly do believe god is with him it's just that he's struggling and he is being overseen and he does have handlers okay um if you haven't seen that video go back and look at it it's on my page somewhere um, my name is abria serenity if you haven't already click that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any more uploads from me i love you all with the love of the lord and i'll see you guys next time